Hey guys, what is going on? It is RC Knockout and I am back with another video. Now if you are new to my channel, my name is Nolan. In today's video, I have got the cheapest Traxxas Slash project out with me, my Traxxas Slash two-wheel drive. Now if you watched the most recent video with this machine, we unfortunately had a breakage. Uh, we ended up breaking this taller battery strap post. So it broke right down here. They're kind of notorious for doing that. I think it's because there's so much leverage on them, on these taller ones. This is probably the third third time at this point this is broken and it breaks when the battery I guess slides forward but I had the battery in there pretty tight but somehow it still broke on impact with my ramp uh, so the last video because of that breakage we weren't able to run a 4s pack so in today's video we're going to jump right into the 4s action by installing one of these 6500 milliamp ADC discharge rate four cell Avonic packs and uh, I'm excited because I've never run the slash two wheel drive on 4s before um, also, if you haven't watched the video where I installed the new system, I'll put a card in the corner if you want to check it out. I installed a Castle Copperhead 10 ESC. It's a 4S capable centered ESC. I combined that with a 3200 KV 1412 Castle censored brushless motor. So since it's censored, it's very, very ultra smooth at very low RPMs. Uh, we do have the proper tires on it today, the Proline Block A's, because we're actually at my local RC track. So for the RC track, these are a good set of tires to run. They should hopefully grip up pretty well. Uh, this has quite a few upgrades. If you haven't checked out the whole cheapest tracks to slash playlist, I basically start out with the cheapest ready to run model you could buy. Start out as a bone stock brush model. I got it for $189.95 and I built it now into the brushless monster it is. So I highly recommend you check out the whole playlist uh, if you're interested in following the whole progression of this build. Put a card in the corner for the playlist. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, get the four cell pack installed, and uh, we're going to get started ripping on the track. Now the only bad thing is being at the track, we're probably not going to be able to get all that 4S power down. So to show off some of the 4S power, might start off just ripping in the grass. Now I think we're going to start off with the launch. Are you guys ready? Get it. Go! He's an absolute ripper. I do have to kind of worry about these tires ballooning up to the point of like coming off the rim or, you know, blowing open. Oh, it's just gonna do wheelies for days. I love this slash two wheel drive. One of my favorite RC cars that made my top five favorites. If it gets the traction, it'll pull a wheelie, a rolling wheelie. Flyby. All right, you guys got to see a little bit of the speed. Let's hop on the track and uh, see how this thing does. Track's a little bit wet today, actually. And tumbled it. It's getting surprisingly good traction. But the surface is kind of tacky. Doubled it. Cut that one a little short. Hit that one bad. Ooh, didn't land that one.
We're going rogue wherever we want to go. By the way, if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell. Bearings are still good. There I had to tap the brakes and it landed, but wasn't the cleanest of landings. four let me get up here I think we're gonna jump this right here do apologize there's somebody mowing back here I actually landed that I tried doing this with my Slash 4 before Ultimate Basher build, and it just kept on nosing off of this jump. So uh, this actually did it a lot smoother. I think we'll bring it back this way and go off this berm, jump down that way. No! I think just the suspension, even though this has really good sh shocks, it has the Power Stroke uh, shocks from Proline, you know, they can't soak up these big of jumps for a machine this size. It's not a monster truck. It doesn't have the suspension of like, say something like an X-Max. But so far system feels great. Everything feels really good. All right, let's bring her. We're gonna jump her again. Here she comes. Ooh, body coming off? I gotta look at that. Your body break. How did we lose those? I. We lost, we lost my, uh, my uh, whatever these are called, screw on caps for my Proline body mount. I've never had that happen. How did they come unthreaded? Well, I might have to search for them. Otherwise, we might just have to switch one to the front like this so the body actually still stays on. That is weird. Very, very weird. I wonder where they fell off at. Fell in the grass is going to be so hard to find those. I'll search a little bit, but I'm not going to search super long. I've made up my mind. I'm done searching. I'm not going to be able to find it. I'm not going to waste like half an hour looking for it. So we're just going to run with two. I've never had those come undone. I had them on pretty tight. I have had the body break through, but never the caps come off like that. They must have just come unthreaded. <gasps> All right, well, we're running with two. We're going to try to hit this jump again. Spin her around, and here she comes. Wow, that jumps so smooth over that jump. So smooth. We'll do that again. Here she comes. Oh! Oh no, guys. Please tell me we did not have the exact same breakage. Oh, are you joking me? The battery just flew out. That's most likely what happened. We most likely just broke that battery post. Seriously? Yep. This is what happens, guys, with these taller battery posts. It broke. Snap clean off where the threads go in. I don't even know how I'm going to get that extracted. Gosh dang. I didn't have the battery in there super tight. It's a big battery. It didn't have a lot of space to move in there. 
but on hard impacts, I don't know, it just pushes forward and that leverage breaks it. I don't even know where the post went. I'm sure it's somewhere around here because wherever we impacted, I'm not gonna worry about it. I can't do anything with it anyway. Even if I find that post, it snaps right where the threads go into the chassis. I can't believe that. Like I literally just replaced that last night. I replaced it last night and I broke it again. Gosh, I wanted to get more testing in too. You know, this is the type of stuff that happens. I don't know how I'm gonna get that extracted though. Honestly, I have no idea how I'm gonna get that extracted. I don't know what to do. Do you guys know of any other solutions? Do they make anything else to hold a battery in for a slash two wheel drive? I really don't wanna cut in the chassis either. But I mean, I already had to cut that down. We might have cut it down even further because my extraction tool is probably not gonna get those that uh, threaded piece out. Well, at least as for the 4S system, it held up really good. And the thing runs super smooth. Uh, the tires actually hooked up pretty well on the surface, but unfortunately that breakage kind of puts us out of commission. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, hit that bell and stay tuned for the next video. Later.